And some big news today as Catholic Health has been granted a waiver by the state health department to resume elective surgeries in Erie County. Now those surgeries are expected to start up next week and will be prioritized based on patient need. We have the latest now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Kaleida Health and ECMC tell me that they too have applied for these special waivers, haven't received them yet, but there are some reasons why Catholic Health may have been allowed to go first. The first reason might be they don't have that many COVID cases at their hospitals where elective surgeries are performed. At Mercy, we have uh, only four COVID patients. At Kenmore, we have one COVID patient. At Sisters, we have zero. And at Mount St. Mary's, we have zero. And that was as of 8 a.m. this morning. Beyond that, Catholic Health, you may recall, established a separate COVID-19 only hospital at the former St. Joseph's in Chictawaga, where the lion's share of its COVID patients have been taken, as well as converting the former Absolute Care Nursing Home in Orchard Park into a convalescent center for recovering patients. Today's a very exciting day for Catholic Health. Not only because it can resume treating patients whose colonoscopies, joint replacements, and other surgeries have been postponed, it can also stop hemorrhaging money. Its losses due to Governor Cuomo's order, which canceled elective surgeries, had been amounting to $35 million a month. This will also allow them to bring back more than 200 of the 1,300 employees it had to furlough because of it. Patients will still have to be tested within 72 hours prior to their appointed surgery to make sure they are COVID free. And there will be a number of other steps the hospital is taking to reduce the odds of any transmission. Those steps Catholic Health is taking at its hospitals are also what won the state health department over. Some of them are quite unique, unique enough to make your next trip to the hospital quite different than what you may remember. And I'll have details on that coming up at 6. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.